Hello everybody, this is Robbie and welcome to AI Dungeon! Haven't seen this in a little while, but we are going to in about two months. Cause Neural Network November approaches. But for now, we're gonna do this simple thing. Anyway, it's just about AI in general. So, today we're gonna be doing roommates character submissions, I guess. And, and where? Uh, what well, I can only use for story options. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but let's get started! If you like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified about my latest videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and comment about what you think of the uh, dungeon. And be sure to share this video on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Let's go. Alright. Check out the original roommates. Whatever. Uh, let's go with one. Austin, the security guard, Florence, the bartender, Miles, the actor, Oliver, the psychologist, yes! Okay, psychology. I, I think therapy, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty much therapy. Wonder if we're gonna- Alright, under the character's name, lobby. Gender? Uh-oh. No, not uh-oh. Male? Describe my appearance! Okay. White... White with brown eyes and black hair. Air. I also have a mustache and goatee. Personality. Kind, kind and caring, but also sarcastic. Some of the time. What are your hobbies? I'm um, playing video games, watching TV, and building domino sets. How do you find Oliver? Wait, what? Um, what the? What is that even? Okay. Um,. You find him in your room. What are you doing? Um, sleeping. You're just waking up when he appears. I don't know. Oh my god, why is this so detailed? Alright, let's generate the story. Alright, you're Robbie, a male with white hair. A male with white with brown eyes and black hair. I also have a mustache. You're kind of caring, but also sarcastic some of the time, and you enjoy playing video games, watching TV, and building domino sets. You live in a shared house with your roommates. All of them have gone home to their families, but you and a guy named Oliver. He is tall and slim. He is tall and slim body with short, messy, dark navy hair, piercing yellow eyes, and tan skin. Oliver is quiet, observant, and kind of blunt, and people try to fit him as and judgmental, but he's actually just disassociated and has problems in talking. Though when talking about stuff he's interested in, his face glows and he will talk for a while. When he feels more comfortable around others, he will aims to like an acknowledgeable, relaxed, and sometimes silly guy. Oliver works as a psychologist, but also likes reading books, sitting around in public places, just doing work and overhearing conversations. You find him... And you... F you find him, you find him in your room. Both of you are single, and you have to, the house to all, to all yourselves. You are sleeping. You're just waking up when he appears, when suddenly you feel your stomach rumble. You sigh and look at the time before going to the fridge with the kitchen and opening it. Okay. You frown and you turn around and see, you, you look at him in shock. I'll go order the food, you get dressed and come out. Okay, let's see where the AI takes this, and then see what happens. I'll walk with you. Okay, that was weird. Okay. I'm afraid you could just think I'm out. I'll walk with you. Mm. Okay, what happens next? All 
I got to the car. I'll walk with you. I got the car and the key. Okay. It's faster than walking with a bus. Okay, you're not making any sense. So, I'm on. Let's go. You nod, quickly getting out of bed and heading for the bathroom. You quickly change and throw on some clothes as you hurry out of the house. Alright, we got that back on track. As you walk to the car, you feel a breeze and look up. Oh, what do you see? This could be interesting. <sighs> it's raining. You quickly run to the car and get inside. You buckle your seatbelt as Oliver drives away. He drives to the store where you, you buy, buy some food. Wait, shit, I forgot to put a period. No! Okay, let's see what happens. And head back home. You eat some of the food as you head back to the car. Oliver drives carefully, making sure to stay under the eat. You eat quickly as Oliver continues driving. Okay, maybe we can engage in some conversation after this. So are you ready to go, Oliver Raps? You nod. You're ready to see your girlfriend. You exit the car and get ready to head to the airport? The hell is this now? Who's the girlfriend? You wait patiently in the long, slow traffic. You see your girlfriend, Jessica, waving at you from a distance. She smiles and waves back as you get closer. You get out of the car and approach her. I'm just gonna put an offer's note. And there we go. Let's see what happens now. She's wearing a long brown skirt and a blue tank top. You stop about a foot away from her and lean in to give her a quick peck on the cheek. I miss you. You introduce Jessica to Oliver. Okay, let's keep things going. He nods, extending his hand to shake yours. I love your car, Jessica says as she leans in for a hug. I really like your car. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's great car. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. Jessica pulls back from the hug and looks into your eyes. Are you sure you want to go? Wait, are we leaving? What the What? Okay. Of course. You don't sound sure. I am. I just don't want to leave yet. I want to stay with you for a little bit longer. Just smiles and nods. Okay. You go with Jessica to... You know what? We're going to let the AI fill in the blanks on that one. Okay, you go with Jessica, too, because I want, kind of want to spend time with Jessica now. To the airport, and you both say your goodbyes. You both promise to write each other, and you both say that you'll call each other. Why? Hey, we only just got a disaster! You then realize that... Your flight isn't until due to fly for a couple more hours. So you decide to go with Jessica to keep letting the AI fill in the blanks. 
get some coffee and sit and talk. You get into the airport coffee shop and you sit down. So how was your trip, the barista? A young man with a goatee ass. Wait, what? What did we already leave? It was good, you said. Did you guys go to Washington? You asked. Yeah. Um, let's introduce a twist. The barista is all error. No, actually, no, we can we can do that later. <sighs> Did you go to the monuments? Did you know that the White House is made of marble? That's so lame. Did you know that you didn't answer his fucking <laughs> his question? Sorry. You both laugh and you enjoy yourself for a moment. You then realize that the barista uh, looks familiar. You look closer at him before realizing that it's Oliver. All right, let's see what happens now, because, you know, I really think that Oliver should be involved in the story. I mean, that's how you met. You realize this is a little too coincidental and decide to act casually. Hey, it's you. How are you doing? Wait, what? Okay, where is this going? You ask. I'm doing well. <sighs> you? He says, returning the question. I'm doing great. So are you here for a visit or something? You're working on a book? And then we'll let the conversation go for a little while longer. And then we got to take Oliver home. He laughs and says, no, not exactly. I'm a barista at a coffee shop. Oh, well, that explains why you know how to make coffee so well, you say. Okay, one more little thing, and then we got to take him home. <laughs> I'm sure I'd do a much better job. Maybe, but I'm happy to serve you. I'm here to serve the people. I hope you know that. You then wheel what? Oliver then realizes that his shift is over. He makes you coffee and you take him back to your house. I actually, I'm no, 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 that's too open to interpretation. Shit. Should have realized that before I typed it out. He says goodbye to Jessica and you wave him off before you head home. You sit down on your couch and turn to the T. You sit your. Makes you do a news channel, relax. You suddenly hear the doorbell ring. You go to the door and you see Oliver, your roommate. And with your girl... F nope, not doing that. That might look like it's cheating. Okay. You gotta keep changing the story a punch to keep things on track. He waves you from the doorway. Hey, did you know that you have a visitor? He asks. Who is it? You ask. <laughs> your, 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 your mom. Why are we? Okay. I'm sure. Um. Whatever. That's fine. You laugh and say, you're full of crap, aren't you? No, she said she'd come and get you. I'm serious. Go see who it is. What? What, do we not trust each other? Okay. Um. Okay, I want to see where this goes. Oh, boy. You go inside, but then you go to the foyer and see your mom waiting for you. She rushes towards you and gives you a big hug. Okay, that's great. Let's see. Let's chat about... Okay. I can't believe you got on a plane without telling me. I was so worried. How was your trip? When are you coming home? Why didn't you call me? You're here now! What?! Why is this a question? What is going on? <sighs> she 
Your mom is wearing a long dark trench hood and has her hair in a bun. She looks just like your grandmother did in the old days. Oh, okay, more characters! Wait, is your grandmother dead? Are we introducing a dead character? Your mom needs to take after her side of the family. I'm sorry, mom, I just couldn't tell you. I couldn't disappoint you like I disappointed you. Oh my god, you got on a plane! I'm very disappointed. Like, what the fuck? Who, what kind of mom goes like, Oh, you're getting on a plane? I'm very disappointed in you. Like, like okay? Sure. Oh, whatever, that's some weird reasoning. Robbie told me that you two were going to get married. Um. Oh, I think that's Oliver talking about. Um. Well, I mean, yay! I'm getting married to Jessica. Um. What the fuck are you talking about? Who is speaking? I know. I'm sorry, mom. I just told. I didn't have my own life. I was afraid that you wouldn't want to see me get married. This is still me, right? What? Wait, Robbie told me that I- that's still me. So I told her that we- me and Jessica were getting married. What is this logic? <laughs> or lack thereof. So who- what kind of mom wouldn't want to see someone get married? You were already divorced from dad and I didn't want to- it was another family member. I couldn't stand the thought of you having to go through the same thing. Oh, that explains it. That just answered my question. My bad. I know that you were scared. But Robbie and I love each other. I want the best for him no matter what. I'll support you in whatever you want to do. You know that, right? Who is speaking? Is it Oliver? Am I cheating on Jessica or is Jessica here? Okay. Um, let's keep going, see what the fuck is happening. Yeah, maybe Jessica just popped in on a rhyme. I wish you'd trust me, I didn't want you to think that I didn't want you to get married. I know you didn't. Can we just move on with the conversation? But I need to plan for of a wedding between me and Jessica now. Do you want to help me? Okay, new thing. We're getting married. That was a confusing conversation. What was that? Of course, I'll do anything that I can to make this happen. All right, that's the mom. So, let's get on with it. Let's go. Let's see what's happening now. This is interesting. You hug your mom again. Your mom then pulls you aside and whispers to you. What? What is she saying? <sighs> he loves you, you know. I know he seems a little rough around the edges, but he really cares about you. You do have a destiny. What? Wait, are you talking about all of it? I thought it was- What? I mean, I'm all for the whole thing, but not if it's like I need to cheat on somebody else. What the f- Okay, um... Um... Maybe Jessica's trans? I don't know. What the hell is the explanation? <laughs> okay, this is my brain. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. This is gonna be fine. What are you talking about? That accomplished absolutely nothing. Okay, let's see. I, I, I can get a pretty good idea, but it's like, why? We, what, are we cheating on Jessica? She's her girlfriend. I know that you two have been through a lot together, but I can feel it. Your mom and I used to be feel it back in the day? There was something off? What? What are you talking What? Your mom and I. But this is my mom whispering to me. Do I have another? I don't know. Okay, no, maybe it's like, I'm adopted. That's it, that's it. I'm adopted. Let's just assume that. So... Ah, uh -huh. all right, in the back, what was off? What? 
what was happening? But I don't get that feeling anymore. I know it's silly, but I want to believe that the feeling is getting strong. I love him. I'm sure of it. Um, we gotta get... I... What? But... A Jessica... Jessica, we got it. Where is, where is Jessica in all of this? But what will Jessica think? She is my girl friend after all. No, I don't know. I, I'm supportive in the whole thing, but it's like we're cheating on Jessica. It's like, God, why, what are we doing? Does Jessica just not exist anymore? But what about Jessica? She's just been through a really rough time. I could just ask her to give him another shot. I know that you've been through a lot together and you don't want to lose him. Why are we focusing on him? What is happening? But I think you're stronger than that. He really cares about you. I know you're stronger than that. Your mom then pats you on the shoulder, completely misunderstanding the entire situation. What was that? Okay. I love you, sweetie. I'll be waiting to meet him. But Oliver's right there! What am I getting married to someone different? What is going on? Your mom then leaves. You go back to sit down on your couch. You then ask Oliver and ask Oliver how Jessica feels about all this. Because we got to put them back in the story. I don't know if there's a different him. Maybe, well, I think that she'll be really happy for you. I'm glad. I was really nervous about telling her. I wanted to make sure I did it right. Yeah, I was, I mean, of course you'd be nervous. She's your freaking girlfriend. You're not, it's like, Jessica, I'm getting married to someone else. I hope you understand. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I get that. It's a really nice gesture to ask her to marry you, though. Oh, we're back on track. Wait, she's really happy for me marrying her? What? Yeah, it is. I guess I should tell her now. What is going on? Did I ask her to marry me and then that failed? And now I'm just going to Oliver? What the fuck is the story? You get up and walk over to the living room where Robbie is talking to Jessica. <laughs> Wait! Am I an entirely separate character within the story now? Oh my fucking god! Oh my god. Okay, oh my god. I- Okay, I guess I'm still with Jessica. Alright, I technically- Who am I in this story? He looks really- Hey, Robbie, I got some news for you. You? Yeah, what's that? I'm getting married. You're getting married? Yeah, I'm getting married. No, probably not good to use the quotes thing unless I absolutely have to, because otherwise that would basically be the equivalent of going like C. There's a C option now? Oh my god! I was just trying to go to say as an example, but oh my god, I what? Oh, that's gonna be a fucking toughie. That's the, but then again, that's the equivalent of saying, yeah, I'm getting married to your old roommate. Ain't Oliver. No shit! No, delete this. Gah. 
Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, God, I hope... Yeah, it's this guy I met online. I met him in a video game website. What? You really getting married? Okay, fuck it. We gotta keep going. Speak of the devil. You tell... Robbie, that the guy you met online was your old roommate, Oliver. Gotta keep this on track! Well, yeah, that's the plan. How does Jessica feel about this? She's really excited. She's going to help plan the wedding. Yeah, well, it Whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Robbie, me, kind of, in the story, my character, married to Jessica, and now um, the other me in the story is getting married to Oliver. So, I got to have it both ways, I guess. What? Wow, congratulations, man. I hope it all works out for you. Thanks, I think it will. I really like him. You then plan for your wedding with Oliver, with R Robbie and Jessica, who are married to each other. There we go. That's great. We gotta keep things going. Oh boy, this is just kind of weird. I'm invested. I am invested. You graduate high school and go on to college and live happily. The end. You've written your first book. Congrats. Now what? Um, what the f What was this story? That just went completely off the rails. Well, you could write a sequel, or you could write a different story. You have many ideas for other stories. Just write them. Um, okay, are we in a completely different story? Options. A. Robbie. B. You'll find out what happens to Jessica in the next episode. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Okay, um, what the fuck was that? I... Okay, then. So, there's apparently a C option now. I wonder how that's going to influence any everything. Find out in the next edition of AI Dungeon, but I do this. See you then. Bye-bye.